Recording. Please request. Is it recording? Awesome. Okay, hey guys. Right now I've got to try to reposition this thing so it will y'all will be able to see because this is going to be kind of challenging to do a home party. I hope y'all can see this. I don't even know. Can y'all see what's behind me? Okay. You're good. So, um, so you'll get the idea. Um, testers, I don't have them all really sorted. This is just for visual, y'all. So if we're at a home party, just pretend that these are out. Okay. So let me get, uh, how can we see me? This, we're just going to make this work, okay? Okay. So hey, everybody, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. And um, don't put your feet on the furniture. My husband might yell at me. Just kidding. We're at a real home party, y'all. We're going to pretend. Okay, so um, Erica, I see you're a few minutes late, but I'll still be generous and give you a ticket. It's okay. So if for all of you ladies that arrived on time, you're going to get a ticket because I do reward everybody being on time. So those latecomers that are coming in late are not going to get a ticket. Um, but here's the idea of my game today, y'all. The, the more tickets you get, the better chances you have to win some of my goodies. So. I'm going to give you lots and lots of ways to earn lots of tickets, I promise, okay? So everybody gets one for um, arriving on time. And do we have any um, Scentsy virgins in the room? How many of y'all have never used Scentsy before? you got to know your crowd before you say that. Um, how many of you have never used Scentsy before or don't have Scentsy in your house? Oh, my gosh. Okay, you're all getting tickets then because – you are going to be loving what we have to offer today. So you're hanging these out, right? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, Brandon. Sorry. Love you, Brandon. It's just habit, Dad Gunnett. Okay. So today, just listen throughout. I'm going to give you plenty of chances to earn tickets, to earn some of my free stuff. So everybody got one of my party packets when you came in. Um, if you don't have one, just let me know and I'll bring one to you. But just so you know, a few of the contents in here, y'all can take anything you want in this packet. But y'all, I am cheap and I like to save money. It's one of my most favorite things to do. So you can't take my plastic pocket home, but you can take any of the contents inside of it, okay? So let's just open this up. And I have to tell y'all, read the sticker on the front. It gives you some pretty good info. Um, it says, A, don't take my packet. But B, I reward referrals. That's a huge one for you to know because once you leave home and you call your Aunt Sue or Aunt Franny and you refer her to buy a bar of wax or buy something from me, guess what? You're going to get a free bar of wax for every person you refer to me. So y'all need to know my referral program. And I've got three prices in the catalog, guys. Regular, half price, and free. You take your pick. How many of you prefer half price? Oh, we have some half price lovers. How many of you like full price? See, I tricked you and I went back. Well, I like personally like the third one, which is free, because I told y'all I'm cheap with my little dollar store plastic things. So if you guys like to earn free stuff, let me know. Talk to me at the end. I'm going to show you how to get tons of free Scentsy products. Uh, and then 100 bucks. I have I spent 100 dollars eating out. So just so you know, you can join this amazing company and get your products for free or half price, discounted, and earn some cash at the same time. So let's take a look at your contents in your your fun little party packet. Um, everybody's got um, a catalog and an order form. So I want you to just pull that out really quick. And let's earn our first ticket. So fill out the top portion of your order form completely. Raise your hand when it's done. And then uh, let me know. I'm going to give you a ticket for the whole top portion has to be filled out. And tonight's hostess is actually Susie Q. Um, so you can just put her name on under hostess and put... Heather Gorsuch as the Scentsy Consultant. So hey, let's do a quick game real quick. Put your pens down. I changed my mind. Everybody grab your cell phone really quick. Okay, and then on the um, count of three, I want you to text me. You are, don't really do this, y'all. I swear we would have, wait, I'm gonna give y'all a fake, but I'm gonna give you Jody's phone number, hold on. Uh, I want y'all to text me on the count of three. I won't really. Uh, text me your favorite scent or your favorite Scentsy product, or if you're new to Scentsy or Scentsy virgins in the house, text me what your favorite kind of smells are that you buy in candles already or room sprays or whatever. It's floral, if it's fruity, 
So go ahead and text 706-495-0981. Okay, so da da da. They're texting me. My phone is blowing up. Okay, now this is consultant hat. Hey, I should have a consultant hat. So when it's on, I'm talking to y'all. Okay, ladies, it looks like lilacs and violets came across on my phone first. So come here, girl. I'm going to give you three tickets, three chances to win, right? Here's three tickets if you ever said lilacs and violets. Now, while y'all are in your phone, go ahead and save me in your phone as a contact. Put me as Cincy Heather because you're going to remember Cincy way before you're going to remember my name's Heather, guys. So go ahead and save me in your contacts as Cincy Heather. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's get back to our order forms. Y'all fill this out. You get a ticket when you're done. Feel free to take my complimentary pins. Just don't call the phone number that's first because I actually put the wrong phone numbers as my home number. The second phone number really works. All right, we had just moved. It was habit. Then you're going to see your catalog, guys. See the little tab at the top? It says Save Moolah. I told y'all I was cheap, but I like free and saving money. So guess what? I have marked the catalog that is the most important. This page right here is give saves the, um, you the most money, gives you the combined and saves, and you get the most uh, bang for your buck in this one, okay? So that's your catalog, your order form. And don't fill this out, y'all. I'll fill it out for you. I just need the top part filled out, and I'll get you the combined and saves. We'll work out what you want at the end. I'm going to check out with each of you at the end, so don't worry about any of that. It's my job to do that for you. So um, as you'll also see in your little packet is our, our set folio. So one of the perks of coming to one of my home parties, you don't get this with a basket party. Oh, oh, I didn't bring that up. You don't get that with this basket party, with these mini testers here. A basket party is basically like our catalog party, but with these, this bag of mini testers right here. So you don't get those with um, a basket party. Our set folios are only at my home party. So as you're going through this, all the little testers today, and now y'all, these are the testers, so just a little trick. Don't smell through the plastic or, or grab a Scentsy bar and smell the thing. I mean, I know you can kind of smell it, y'all, but all you're doing, this is the same as this. All y'all got to do is just unscrew and smell, and you'll see the name of the scent on the top of the lid or the bottom of the sticker. So you'll see the little categories written on my card, so you can go through. See, here's new releases, matches your new releases. And as you're going through, just circle your favorites of your must-haves, okay, on your little sip folio. So this is how you're going to keep track of all the smells that you like. And, y'all, this is my gift to you. This is something that you can keep for the whole catalog season. So when it's time to reorder, you don't have to remember back four months ago and say, gosh, did I like that coconut lemongrass or did I, I hate it? So this is just my little gift to you. Uh, and continuing on into your packet. A little scent sample. You can, that's the first little sample you can see if you like. How many of y'all change your wax? So this is my most favorite way to change my wax. I don't know about y'all, your old school Scentsy timers here, but I'll tell you what, when you're playing the um, balancing game of taking a night light out of the wall, trying not to spill all the wax all over the place, or are you a pop it out, let me pop it in the freezer and pop it out with a knife? Too many steps, guys, way too many steps. I'm going to teach you. My job as your Sensi consultant is to show you tips and tricks and cheap ch uh, tricks. Look at this, cotton balls, y'all. The easiest way ever to change your wax. So all you do, when you can't smell your wax anymore, just drop a cotton ball right in the top, y'all. It absorbs within seconds. Take your second cotton ball, wipe out the residue, and you're ready to add a new cube. It's that simple to change your wax. And I actually do this in all my warmers. It's kind of fun because I'll tell my son to, to take all the cotton balls and go put them in all the dishes in my house because, yes, I have a warmer in every room of my house and diffusers in two of them. So we are Scentsy Holics, um, but he'll go drop them and then I'll come back around with the Solo Cup and I save all my waxes. So if I'm not going to go camping, but I might find a little Girl Scout that goes camping and donate them. It's a great fire starter. So if any of y'all have Girl Scouts, let me know. And I'll save my wax cotton balls for you to start fires. Okay, so the last but not least in your little packet is every month Scentsy comes out with a new warmer and a new scent that's not in the catalog, and it's actually in the special flyer, um, and it's got the little scratch and stitch sticker on the back. 
Um, so these are still available. Just let me know. There's a couple that aren't. If it's marked sold out, like Wellies is marked sold out. Um, you can't purchase that anymore, but uh, there's some other great ones on there too. And last but not least, feel free. If, you're, if you know anybody or maybe it's yourself that needs some extra cash um, or just wanting products at a discount, this is all about the $99 starter kit. Feel free to take my information and uh, read over it. And by the way, y'all, I've done direct sales forever. This is my 12th direct sales business, so this is all I know. And it has finally been the one that has been a perfect fit for me because, A, the products sell themselves. You're going to see how easy my job is tonight. So, um, Susie Q, we might just uh, show you exactly how easy this is and that you can do this too. So, really quick, let me just kind of run through the products for the Cincy Virgins that's never been here. The... Season Scentsy uh, customers, we know you know all of this, but um, as I mentioned the bars, every single fragrance comes in this bar. You guys, you're looking at eight Scentsy cubes in this. You're going to get about eight to 10 hours per cube. This is 80 to 100 hours of fragrance. So this is a, equivalent to a medium-sized jar candle that you would typically spend about $25, $30 for. You're getting ours for five bucks. So this is equal to a medium-sized jar candle. What's really great is that we buy five, get one free. And they don't have to be the same smell, y'all. You see I have all six different, that's like six jar candles for $25. For the price of one, you're getting six. So that's pretty cool. And then I told you how to change your wax. Um, so keep in mind, as you're smelling in your little scent folio today, every smell comes in your bar. Every smell comes in your room spray, which is super concentrated, y'all. I love the room sprays. I have them in all of my bathrooms. Um, all you need literally is a couple of squirts, and that's it. My most favorite room spray is Odor Out. It's an odor eliminator. So if you guys have any pets or cats, it's a really good one to have. It's a must-have for your house, for sure. And then every single fragrance also comes in our scent circles. Now these are for your car. You have to have these on the mirror, guys, because it does contain oils. There's warning labels on the back that nobody reads. That's why I'm telling you, because I don't want you to ruin your car. You have to have it freely hanging on your mirror because y'all, it will mess it up. They're on the back, warning labels on the back for a reason. But remember, every single smell comes in these three things, okay? Now, if you are like my husband and don't want the cute little pink or purple circle hanging on the from the rear view mirror and you need something more manly, Brandon, manly. This is kind of manly. We have a car bar, y'all, and these set circles, they last about two to three weeks, just so you know. Depends on where you live. Mine's about two weeks. But you have an option, of these are our car bars. They don't come in every fragrance, but they last up to 30 days. Um, weathered leather is by far our most popular man scent that I sell. Um, but they come in select fragrances, and you'll see that in the back. But you just hang these on the um, rear view mirror as well. So if you're totally like my husband, I want nothing hanging, because then that would just be way too feminine, I've got a travel tin for you. It's just scented gel inside. And what's really cool about these um, travel tins, the more you open them, the more fragrant it is. It's just got a scented gel. So he'll put this in the cup holder or under the seat. But these are great, y'all, even in diaper bit pails or in on the bottom of trash cans, like wherever you need some fragrance, these are really good to put in, in um, anywhere you need them. Another fun option for fragrance on the go, and these are what comes in our Scentsy Buddies. See this cute little panda? So they're little zipper pouch in the back. You just unzip it, and the little pouch just goes right in the back of who read the panda. What's it? Shoo shoo, shoo shoo the panda. I don't know. I don't hardly sell them. So it goes in the back of Shoo Shoo. So that's where the set pack just goes in the back. But um, what I like to do is sometimes my kid um, pulls it out because he's so little that uh, he's not really. Um, that what I'll do is I keep the set pack for myself and put this in my lingerie drawer. And when little Billy loses his teeth, he puts the, tooth, the teeth in the back of Shoo Shoo and the tooth fairy leaves money in the back of the little Scentsy Buddy guys. So that's just a little idea. If y'all got little ones losing teeth, like my little Billy, use those for the Tooth Fairy, y'all. They're perfect. And, and be greedy and stingy and keep this for yourself. And you can put this in the car too if y'all want. Okay, 
So all of our warmers are heated by, y'all can't see. All of our warmers are heated by a low watt light bulb or a heating element. I like this the heating element ones because y'all, I don't know about you, how many of y'all like it pitch black when you're sleeping? Like. If there's one dot of light shining through our, the old warmers, I put my knee up if I'm lazy because I don't want to get up to turn the warmer off. So I love the little element ones, y'all, because, hello, there's no light that's keeping me up at night, and I still get great fragrance. You should put that in your guest room. I should. Yeah, it's very bright in there. It is. I'd turn it off. Looks great, but I'd turn it off. <laughs> it's too bright. And my most favorite warmer, y'all, is the parlor warmer, as you can see. Um, it's got the Edison light bulb, which is very trendy with decor right now. Uh, these are great for any size room. Um, there is an on-off switch on all the courts. And then we have our night lights, which are great for small um, bathrooms or a laundry room, maybe, if it's really small. I don't recommend these for large rooms because it's only a 15-watt light bulb that heats the wax, so it's not much of a scent throw, really, as you're going to get with your elements or your 20 or 25 watts. Um, if you're new to Cincy, you're trying to get lots of coverage for a bigger area, I would definitely recommend one of the bigger size warmers. Um, you're going to see this little piece that comes with your night lights for your bathroom. It just goes around the lip here um, for more secure fitting whenever you're putting the base of the night light on. And there is a little spot. What's really great about these night lights, how many of any horizontal outlets that are cockeyed and like, how does this even end up like this. Well, push that button on these uh, plug-ins, y'all, on the night lights, and it rotates to fit all outlets. Cincy has seriously thought of everything. Okay, so on to another option for fragrance is um, essential oils in the diffusers. Now, this is not to replace warmer, you guys. This is just a completely different experience of fragrance. Some people prefer oils. Some people love our wax and warmers. And you've got crazy people like me that like both because I have the diffusers in my bedroom, my son's room and my room. So this is what's so great about our diffusers. And I have Bliss going right now. Can y'all smell that? It is so good. Mm. I forgot to put water in it. Uh, it's so good. So here's how our diffusers work. So you just fill this at the water reservoir up to the fill line. Put about four to five drops of Bliss in there. And what's really cool is if you want it stronger, Put in more drops, it's okay. You can customize how strong you want it. You feel a little romantic, ladies and gentlemen? We've got hi, hold on. Hi, low, and candle flicker. Or from the off position, just hold that button down till the first color comes on. It's gonna rotate, ladies and gentlemen, through 12 different colors. So what's really cool is you can let it rotate automatically or just keep clicking the button until you find the color that matches your decor or your mood. Uh oh, that's not a good mood. Let's find a better color for a happier mood and leave it on there. Oh, well, that's my face. Okay. And what's so great about these diffusers, you guys, is once it runs out of water, the mist portion is going to shut off automatically and the light feature stays on. The light feature is actually going to stay on until you physically come over here and turn it off. And the shades are uh, removable, so who knows, maybe one day they'll come up with some decorative ones that you can have interchangeable shades. And since he stands behind all of their products, any type of warmer or um, product that you buy, like um, the night light, the element warmers, the big parlor even, any of them are lifetime warranty, they stand behind all of their manufacturer warranties on all of our products. So same with our diffuser. So I don't know if you've compared other diffusers on the market, but there are there is no other diffuser on the market that looks like ours does, decor-wise. And I'm going to tell you, there's a limited lifetime warranty on this. And the reason why I tell you limited is, is because you have 90 days to register this from the time that you buy it. If you don't, you snooze, you lose. Don't ever call me for a replacement because it's not going to happen. You have to register it, but two, you got to pay the $20 shipping. So if anything ever happens and you break this or it needs to be replaced, the $130 part is going to get replaced, but you have to pay the shipping of 20 bucks. Not too shabby, right? I have to do the same thing on my Kirby vacuum if something happens. 
So that kind of it shows you our warmers, wax, and diffusers. Now, before we get into, um, well, let me show you these really quick before we take our break on our, our quick little game. But if you've got a piece of furniture, wood, that you're trying to protect and you don't want messed up, a $10 stand is, uh, is lifesaver, guys. So just protect your furniture. It's not going to get extremely heat and burn anything. But as with anything, if you want to protect a piece of furniture, you've got grandma's antique um, furniture and you're going to put a warmer on it, invest in a $10 stand. Okay, so moving right along, let's take a quick little break. Yeah, let's do a quick little break and let you guys earn some tickets. So I'm going to let you, uh, anybody have any questions about the products that I just went over? We'll get to these other products later. Okay, so no questions. Gosh, y'all are good. That's great. Okay, so now that I've given you the chance to ask questions about our products, um, I want you to ask any question about my business. For every single question you ask that's business related, I'm going to give you a ticket. They start asking away. Tickets flying out like crazy, okay? Again, they're just trying to get pieces of paper. I haven't given anything away yet, nothing, except ticket. Okay, that's great, so everybody earned some tickets, that's great. So next thing um, we're gonna do is I'm gonna break in, if everybody will just kick off a shoe. Yeah, kick off your shoe, just, just one shoe. Okay, great, good. Well, first, before we, before we get your feet done, I want you to give me one little hand, and I'm going to come around. This is our velvet hand cream, guys. Shake it before you use it because it's got oil in it. That's what makes it work and all soft and great. And here's a little squirt in your hand. Just rub that in there. This is actually number 82. Wonderful. And this is our moisturizing body bar. We're not going to spend too much time. I'll pass it around and let you smell it. No, I'm not washing y'all's feet. I'm gonna let you guys try this whipped body souffle. Uh, but you can smell the body bar, it's really good. And I haven't even been a big fan of bar soap, uh, but I have to tell you, I have really, really dry skin. And I have to tell you, this moisturizing body bar, it has converted me over to a bar soap now. I will tell you that, it is one of my favorites. Uh, and then I always lather up with um, the whipped body souffle. So I'm gonna come around with my little spatula, guys, um, and just pick a foot or a leg, whatever. I'm gonna come around and give you a little bit in your hand to rub on your own feet, girls. I'm not, and guys, I'm not gonna give you a foot massage, but that way you can try um, our whipped body souffle. And just so you know, anytime you buy a whipped body souffle, you get a free spatula um, with the purchase of your whipped body souffle. All right, so moving on to, Another one of my favorite things, I hate it when I travel, y'all, and have to have my perfume in my luggage, and I'm sorry, but I sweat. I'm a sweater. I like to have a little fragrance in my handbag that I don't have to pull out of a different suitcase. This I can carry on the plane in my clear Ziploc bag, you guys, and they're all roll-ons, which is awesome. So feel free to try any of these as I pass it around, and you can um, smell the different fragrances as well. Um, how many of you have your husbands at the beards or shave? I have to admit, I've probably used some of these men's products on myself. Just saying. They're kind of good. Um, okay, so we've got our shampoo, shave, and shower bar for men. And y'all can smell it. We're not going to spend too long on this. Y'all are more than welcome to come up and feel, touch, and smell everything once we start doing the scents. This is our cream shave soap. Here we go. Smells so good. Okay, we're just gonna put that there. This is our refreshing face balm. Love. And the nourishing skin conditioner. That's our, our green line for men. And I have the little um, pamphlets up here if you guys wanna smell every single fragrance. Just kind of open the flap and you can smell uh, the skin and the groom. All right, so this, Ladies and gentlemen, how many of y'all want me to come clean your house? I bet you all do. Okay, so at any time during the party, if you would like to have a couple of your friends over and um, want me to just come do a, a Scentsy Clean demonstration, just come grab one of these sponges uh, and keep it with you so when we're doing your order form at the end, I know I need to come clean your house, okay? So I've got a lot of extra sponges in here. Just come grab one and bring it to me at checkout. 
But I have to tell you guys, the clean demonstrations are kind of fun because they're not like any other Scentsy party. But we just come in, the kitchen soap is amazing, super concentrated. You can clean your dishes, a little bit goes a long way. It doesn't suds up really like Dawn, but a little bit goes a very long way. Scentsy Fresh, spray on fabrics, it makes it smell wonderful. My absolute most favorite is our counter clean, y'all. This is so great on stainless steel appliances and all sealed surfaces, including granite. So I made this really fun video of mustard on my granite countertops. And I was a skeptic at first. I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is not going to work. So I put mustard on my counter and put fans to let it dry and used a other brand cleaner versus ours. Holy moly, y'all. You can tell a huge difference just from using it once. And it actually builds like a little barrier where um, it's easier to clean, like over time from using the counter clean. So I love doing Scentsy Clean Parties. So if you're interested in that, come grab a, a sponge. So something very cute for the kids, you guys. I love this. And I've even had customers buy these for cars. Our little baby Scentsy Buddies. I know I talked about the big ones earlier. Shoo, shoo. Uh, but this is the little... Um, Liddy the lamp, and it's a Scentsy Buddy clip. So you can clip them onto anywhere, y'all. His um, backpacks or diaper bags, but the scent is already built in these little boogers. And so they smell so good. And this is my favorite one is Jammy Time. I could smell Jammy Time every day, y'all. It is one of my favorite scents. So, and these come in um, different little animals, too. Okay, last but not least. Y'all, how many of y'all are the ones that go up and down the detergent aisle at the grocery store, unscrewing bottles, smelling the smell before you're buying the detergent, right? Hello, me too. I am a scent freak, especially when it comes to my clothes. Figure it out. So here's what I have for you. Uh, how many of y'all want to take a guess on how many loads of laundry this will, will do in your house? This is 50 medium loads of detergent yeah in this one bottle 50 medium loads and so i use the fragrance free again because i'm cheap i'm going to tell you why because i'm going to let you smell this and you're going to understand why i do fragrance free okay so everybody smell this towel this was washed two and a half weeks ago no i didn't keep it in a ziploc bag holy crap i can still smell it on here it was really like three weeks ago it smells like I just washed it yesterday, and this was washed in our Scentsy Clean. So what is making this towel smell so good? Is it the detergent? No, it's this. These are our washer whips, you guys. This is what's so great about these. Now, you can control how strong you want it. So with me, I'll do about two, two to three scoops in my drum for a large load, just because I like it to smell strong. But the tub, here's the... Um, here is the small version of the washer whips. This is exactly, it comes in two sizes. Um, seriously, and let's get real, because who is gonna really do a small load of laundry? I'm sorry, but when I do laundry, you best believe it's like busting out the seams at the top. I hate doing laundry, so if I'm gonna do a load of laundry, it's gonna be ginormous. So this is the, are you kidding? And let's get real size, is what I like to call them. And so what's so cool about this bundle, and I have tons of people, y'all, that host with me every three months just to stock up on their laundry stuff. It's that good. So as a hostess, you can get your tub of whiffs, your 50 loads of detergent, two boxes of dryer discs. There's two discs in each package. What does this do? Throw it in the dryer. It's more fragrance. It's not a dryer sheet. It's just more of the continued fragrance from your washer. The box says about 15 loads per disc. It's really like 20 or 25. Do not throw that sucker away until later because you're going to get more, money, more of your uh, money's worth. So why do I do the fragrance free, y'all? Because I love my clothes with Scentsy Clean, but I love my sheets and towels and French lavender. So I told y'all I'm cheap. I like to save money. Fragrance free detergent. That way I don't have to buy a separate detergent for my French lavender on my spa-like towels and sheets, and I can still get my Scentsy Clean on my clothes. So if you want to save money, go with the fragrance free. That way you can get two different types of um, washer whiffs, and uh, you don't have to buy separate detergent. So how many of you, who's got the most kids in here? 
Oh, that's going to be Cammy. So Cammy, you're actually going to win. I'm going to give a little freebie stuff away. Here's a little sample of our, this is enough detergent for a large load, mind you. Um, and you're going to get a quiver sample of washer whips and a quiver dryer desk to do a free a uh, little load of laundry on me, girl, with your 15 kids. You need all the help you can get to with a load of laundry. So let me do a load for you, please. Okay, now where's my girl that goes to the gym every single morning? Okay, Jamie Pilcher, I know that's going to be you, girl. So let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten that smell of, like, mildew on your workout clothes where you were like, what the heck, I can't get rid of this? And it's always on the workout fabrics. I don't know because I don't work out and I've never worked out. And so I don't own any clothes like that. I just know it's made my towel softer. So here we go. This is for you, Miss Workout Queen. This is our clothing conditioner. It's specifically designed. Um, it will improve the condition of your, your fabrics, but it's specifically designed for dry wicking fabrics, your workout clothes. You can't use regular fabric softener on your workout clothes that's why they're stinking and smelling terrible so try this I've got a sample right here for you Jamie of the clothing conditioner I want you to go and try your um, clothing conditioner and somebody's got to book a party so Cammy and Jamie can come back and let us know their results of what you did from the laundry and the clothing because you're gonna love this stuff and this is a pretty big huge bottle so um, as you're going around, keep these in mind. Y'all be careful opening these testers. Yes, they look like these, but they got little stickers on the front. And there's washer whips in here, y'all. So be super careful that they will spill everywhere. But these are the different fragrances that our laundry stuff comes in. So take, whoop, take a whiff and smell those as you're um, doing your little set polio today, too. Okay, so now it's time to check out. So, Barbara, you're ready to check out. Great. Oh, before we check out, let's have a chance to earn some more tickets real quick. So, um, I don't have it. In this basket right here, all this stuff in this basket, that's what my average hostess gets for free and half price. All that stuff in that basket. So you get all that. So um, let me give you a chance to earn some more tickets. So anybody that wants to earn some free or half price, I'm going to give you 10 tickets right now. All I need is your date. It could be a home party, a basket party, a fundraiser, an online party, a Facebook party, a Zoom party. If you don't want to clean your house, we can do it at my house. I got a margarita machine. Come on over. You provide the liquor. All you got to do is bring the people over. 10 tickets to anybody that wants to have their own fun Cincy party as well. Okay, and then I'm going to help um, Barbara fill out her order form. And um, you can choose to give more tickets out based on purchases. For every maybe $30 spent or $25, you can give additional tickets if you want, if it's not too busy. I typically don't because it can get kind of hectic. But then pay attention to what people are ordering so you're able to upsell. Let them know that they um, are buying a, a, watt, a warmer with a 25-watt bulb. If they'd like to have a light bulb on hand when they're checking out, so you can say additional bulbs are two dollars each or three for five. Um, you just pay attention to what they're ordering so that way you can upsell them. Okay, I hope that was not too fast. I don't even know what time it is and how long I went. 40 freaking minutes. Wow. That was, that was a ton of information. Like people are, I've been trying to keep up with the chat. So we're definitely going to have to post the recording so they can go back and take more notes. Y'all, I was trying to talk so fast so we could get to this and get questions. You did great. As no, usual. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> you All I know is Cammie and Jamie won a prize. <laughs> I'm just, someone said they're coming. You said Margarita, Margarita Machine. So I really did do that. In San Diego, you guys, it was military housing. No one would have home parties because they didn't want to come to their, me to come to their house with all their kids and 1,100 square feet. So what I did is I went and invested in a margarita machine and said, come on over, we'll just do it at my house. I started booking parties like crazy in San Diego because I took 
the um, inconvenience away from them. I gave them no reason to say no. I mean, they were like, yeah, of course I'll do it. So that, that was a true story. I really did do that. Yeah, there's lots of comments. You'll have to go back. Actually, let me save this chat before I forget. So if anybody's, um, oh, what do I give away? That's a good question. So as you can see, I give away a lot of samples. I watch the sales. I don't do my giveaways until the very end to see what I see they're, if, what they're buying. If it's a $200 party, I'm giving away samples galore or a, a single dryer desk or a scent circle. Hey. Um, I'm not maybe a travel tent if it reaches like 300. I don't start giving away, I don't give away warmers um, at all. So it, it would be like a Scentsy bar or something like that. It's everything. You're looking at probably the stuff that I give away. No joke. It's all samples. I don't, I don't give away the house and home at my home parties at all. And notice I was demonstrating bliss on purpose because it's the most expensive oil. That's what they're going to fall in love with. I, I, whatever you demonstrate is what they're going to buy. So I'm not going to do a $10 oil ever in my whole life. It'll be the most expensive. And the $45 parlor. I show that because it's a more higher price point. I show the tub, higher price point. That's why I'm like belittling the little product. I mean, you felt like this was ridiculous purchase, didn't you? You're thinking, I'll never buy that small. It's not practical. You think this one's practical. Hey, guys, if you have questions, you don't need to raise your hand on there because I don't, there's nothing I can do with that other than just go to the chat option. You guys see that? And type your question in there. And I'm trying to watch the comments and answer questions and stuff like that hope that stacy can you do that why are there different prices on the oils it's because the ingredients they're they're made up of different things mm -hmm. and so like your pure lavender essential oil it's going to be different component than maybe what's in um your grapefruit whatever one's called i don't know the freaking name of it well, yeah. um it's the expensive stuff in it and with the example that they gave us when they first came out, not that I'll remember the numbers exactly, but it was like, if we were to ever, or anybody for that matter, to produce 100% rose oil, it would be so expensive. Yeah. Nobody could afford it because it takes, I mean, it was a really long time and a huge, humongous amount of roses to get a vial. So people always say, are they synthetic? Are they natural? Are they this or that? Almost all oil is manufactured. So it has yeah, to be manufactured one way. So. so do I give a hostess gift? It does. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's usually um, a free warmer. It's what, it's what I usually do. And I don't specify what it is. So if it's a $200 party, it'll be a nightlight that I'm using for the perpetual at $10. Um, sometimes I don't do hostess gifts. It just depends. Um, the little bottles and stuff, y'all, yeah, I bought these at Aroma Tools or whatever, or, or whatever, Express Yourself, but now I'm just buying these. I'm not wasting my time making. This is so much more professional looking. I'm just buying Scentsies now. I'm just using up what I've got. Yeah, I don't ever specify what type of free warmer. I just say free warmer. What about when three are having a party at the same time? Who? Three people? Yeah, they want to have three of them are having a party at the same time. So I'm doing a party and they have three of them as hostess. So I'm going in. Do I give them something, each of them? Um, you know I don't give anything away until I see the results. Is it all people attending for all three people? Yeah. They want to oh. go in it together and then they're oh. going to split the ending. Well, so what I would do for them is I would say this is a unique, awesome opportunity for all these co-hosts. I mean, I have never had a party so with so many people excited to be a host of a Cincy party that all three of you are doing it at the same time. This is freaking awesome. So what I created for you guys is my special sample hostess packet, and it actually has a sample of each type of product that I'm sure you've never tried before. I've got our... With body souffles, our hand creams, our counter clean, so clothing conditioner, washer whiffs, a bar. You guys are going to have a heyday with my hostess sample boxes. So thank you guys for, so, for booking so much. And then not on top of this is you're going to also get your free and half price on today's sales. And then if anybody books, you're each going to get 
Um, if there's three people that book, you each will get a half price item at each one of each the show. So, or you'll take one, not each, but Susie, you'll right. get one. Catherine, you'll get one. And Joyce, you'll get one. Okay. Yeah, don't give the house and home away to them because three people well, hosting with 15 people there, yeah, it can still be great, but now they're sharing amongst three people. It's going to be mm -hmm. tough. For them all to get like sixty, a hundred dollars worth of free, you know. All right. Um, the only other thing that I I wanted to add, um, it kind of goes along. Hang on, where someone just said it about how they have a hard time actually getting people to pay attention, and I know personally for me, I mean, even after all these years doing it, I still get nervous doing a home party. Yeah. Unless I really know the people. And even sometimes that makes me nervous. So I have to find a way to um, break the ice. Because I hate being left in the corner or feeling like I'm out of place or that people aren't listening to me because then I just get a little irritated. Um, so that, to, for, to how I kind of overcome that is playing some of the icebreaker games. You did one, Heather, at the beginning of your demo today was, you know, the cell phone. Getting them to take their cell phone out text you something and making you a contact first of all that's great because that way they always have your phone number there's no excuse for them to say right. what my consultant was so it, you right. know for a couple of reasons a couple other icebreaker games that um i do either when i'm uncomfortable or when i have repeat hostesses because those parties can be tough too when they already know everything you're like well what am i going to do for entertainment um i love the paper plate game mostly for my pure entertainment <laughs> so I bring paper plates or I ask the hostess ahead of time if she has any and I bring you know I hand out my pens and everything as we start to get started and I tell them they have to put it on top of their head and now they have to draw but they can't look at it so in the winter I make them draw a beach theme in the summer I make them draw a snowman and it's hilarious first of all because now they're laughing at each other they're you know poking fun at each other the drawings most of the time are unidentifiable but then I give them all to the hostess and she has to pick a winner. So it's super silly, but it gets everybody kind of laughing. And I give them something small like a washer with sample or a scent circle just for fun. Yep. Um, the other one I like to do was the um, appliance game. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done that, but um, watch your crowd on this one because I've got caught off guard one time doing it with some elderly women who didn't quite understand it. And out. But anyway, so you have them write down the name of an appliance that they don't like or is broken in their house. Give them a few minutes to write that down. And then they list like three reasons why they don't like it. Give them a few minutes, fill it out. And then as you, you know, get them to read it off, you have them change the name of that washing machine or the appliance to their name of their significant other. And That's so you'll be funny. like, Bill, it's, he, it's too big. It's too black. It's too loud. I mean, like, it can really be a lot of fun. And again, I let the hostess or the, you know, the guests kind of pick whose was the best and I hand out a price for that. Super silly things. They don't necessarily have anything to do with our product or our business, but they definitely get people in the mood to listen to me, yeah. and to relax and kind of know that we are at a party and I'm here to have fun. I'm not just here to sell you something. Right. Those are kind of my tips for a party. But to be honest, Heather, I learned a lot from your parties. I've never really seen one. I've never been to one. Well, I wish it would have been more real, but it's like, it's trying to make it as real because we would not have been going that fast, number one. Um, but it's fun. Just just play with your crowd and make them laugh and have fun. Make jokes. I think yeah. when you can loosen up and just have fun, that's what they're experiencing and that's what they want. They just want a good time. I mean, that's all they're wanting. And I think if you can just do the icebreaker, like you said, and just yeah. make them have fun, it's great. I mean, I've been to parties that were um, adult-related parties Yeah, that were not fun because oh, the hostess yeah. was so serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, the consultant, excuse me, was so serious about everything. And anytime the guest made a joke or giggle or anything, she would get angry. I'm not yeah. in detention, right? I'm in right. a party. Yeah, we're here to have fun. We want to have fun. So keep it lighthearted. Keep it simple. Be yourself. And if you make a mistake, I mean... It's okay. It's okay. I made lots of them when I was talking just now. I showed up to a party 45 minutes away with no wax testers. Who does that? I have done that. I've done that. Yeah. And I've I done... love using the ticket job because if you've got chatty Kathy that won't shut up, you just... That would be me. 
you just say like, oh, first person to find our charitable warmer, which I didn't even mention, first person to find our charitable warmer in the catalog gets a free ticket. Mm -hmm. so, and you don't have to have everything that I have today. Like, let me tell you right now that if you just signed up and you have the starter kit, people are not going to care if they have the wash whole entire collection of washer whips to smell because the majority of them, you can have them smell a tester and it's all in your delivery. So how many of you think were sold when I was talking on the moisturizing bath body bar and dry skin? How many of y'all were sold on that? Shake your head if you, guess what? I've never used the shit. Never. <laughs> never even tried it. So that's just a little example to show you girls. It doesn't matter what you have. In my delivery, you seriously thought I had it and I had used it. No, never in my life. That's why you're amazing. I swear. But that, that's how convincing you can be. People don't know. I don't have a little kid named Billy losing teeth. They don't know. You can be whoever you want to be. It's your delivery. It's okay. I really am sweating. I, mean, I really like that idea with the Sunday and keeping that packet. I can see that going like that. The mom's going to keep the packet and the kid's going to get the stuffed animal. <laughs> Yes. I mean, you're giving, you're showing them multiple uses and how to save money. People love yeah. tips and tricks and how to save money. And right. if you're building a connection and, and um, trust with them by doing the fragrance free. I don't really use the fragrance free laundry in my French lather on my towels and sheets. No, I'm just giving them two uses and making building trust with them. I mean, that's it. And this, I mean, if you don't have this, you know, this really was washed at my event three weeks ago. And it seriously really does smell like clean breeze still to this day. It's ridiculous how good this still smells. So what I would recommend is either get this or two things. Have your hostess do a load of towels and you give her a sample prior to the party. Two weeks in advance, have her wash them and set them out. Or have everybody bring a towel to the party. You start a load at the beginning of the party, throw it in the dryer and give everybody their towel back at the end of the party. They're going to go home and smell that towel and use that and they're going to love it. So this is a huge seller. This is, if you can get everybody using this, y'all, your PRV is ridiculous good. You rock. No, y'all, it's just sales. It's you've got to you've got to think when you're selling. Like you want to sell the most expensive stuff. Your PRV can double, guys. Just be smart. Like I'll hand out washer with samples, like crazy, more than scent samples. They're gonna come buy bars for me anyway. I want to give them samples of stuff they're not trying. Wait, what does this say? Hold on, I see some of the chats orange. I have a bulldog. That's who farted, and it's disgusting. Oh no. They're like, who farted? <laughs> I just did that at a last home party with the dryer and the towels. My party had nine people, 600 people. I mean, $600. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Okay. Anybody else questions? Oh. I'm sorry if you said this already because I had a couple of texts going, but you talk, you do all the totals and everything for them. You bundle it all and do all of that for them. Yep. Okay. Yep. I always fill out the order form. A, because I hate when people put their own credit card information on the bottom and it's not right and I can't read their writing. Mm -hmm. But two, I also want to show that it's, it's of my service and I have to be able to upsell them. So if I know that, like for example, if they're getting, I don't have a catalog, where's the catalog? You're gonna have to help me do my math. It's been a while since I've done this. Don't ask so, me to do math. Um, here it is. So I know that, let me go to the save tab. So I know, for example, like, let's say they're getting a $40 warmer and the three pack of bars, so what is that, 40? They can get a war of nightlight for ten dollars out on a nightlight for ten. Is that how we do it? Wait, what? You know how when they buy the warmer and the bars and you can add on a nightlight for 
Uh, you're, talking about the, you're talking about the companion system? Yes. Yeah. So that's a really good way to upsell them. So, so yeah, if they're buying a $40 warmer and three bars, now figure the three bars at five a piece in your head as you're telling them. That's $15 and 40. $40, $55, $55, not $65. So they're already spending $55, right? So in your head, you know they can get a nightlight, the three bars, and the $40 warmer for $65. So when they're checking out and you say, oh, you got a $40 warmer here and the three bars, Susan, do you want to just, did you need a nightlight for a bathroom? Because I can get you a nightlight half off, 10 bucks. Do you want to add a nightlight for $10 to your package? Well, of course I do. Why would I not when I get a nightlight for $10? So you've just upsold them. And oh, girl, do you need to go ahead and add a pack of bulbs? Um, so that way it burns out, you already have one. And then just call me and you'll, already, you'll be able to um, keep using your Scentsy until we order the next pack. Oh, sure. Oh, go ahead and give me a three pack of each. So that's five, 10, another 10. That's $20 I just upsold her. And she doesn't even know it. I haven't got to scent circles or room sprays yet. Any other questions, anybody? We did great. It's like nine o'clock or your time. It's eight o'clock on the eight dot. Eight on the dot. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Study the combine and saves. That is your best. Mm -hmm. Best thing I can tell you to do is know your combine and saves because your job as a good consultant is to save people money. You've got to build trust with them. That's the only way when they say the word Cincy, they think of you is you've got to build the trust, you know, put your little save money tabs. Do, I mean, what could be anything y'all just, you, you're looking out for them first. That's what you're trying to do. Jamie, will you post on Heather's team page, a picture of your pockets? You see that question? What'd you say? Mine. Oh, I wish I could tonight, Cammie. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I wish. Should, yes, I'll take a picture, but I'll show you right now. They were. Oh, good. Were, okay, perfect. You were talking about your pocket things that you yeah. found, and I was telling them how I found Walmart ones. Yes. Like, I found them like they weren't on an end cap, but they weren't in your normal office supply area. I was just killing time waiting for um, the pharmacy to open. And so I was walking around and I found them. And it says that they're a document holder, you see? But it has like the little. 97 cents a zipper uh, pouch at the top and hers are more sturdy than mine i'm gonna tell you from dollar tree i was pulling already so hard and i've already cracked the, the thing I mean, they're still pretty thin but, thin but they have the zipper and they were only 97 cents yeah that's like that's that's good so i will post a picture with with all of this information but like i said i totally stumbled upon them they weren't like in the typical spot it was kind of like the end where they had like these little cube baskets and file what are those things expendable file things oh, yeah, like the expandable one a bunch of random office supplies not the typical aisle so i will wow. share that with you though but and i got those of you those of you that are in texas guys in the houston area we are doing h-town showdown so just be aware of that that tickets will be going on sale for that melissa gratz is actually flying in town to speak um, I know Jamie Pilcher is coming up in town for it. Um, it's going to be about 40 to $45. And uh, my husband comes in. Um, per ticket, lunch is included. An all day, full day's worth of training. And we will be doing li true live home party demonstrations um, for that. So it's going to be a great training. We've done it for the past two years. Um, and it's going to be in August. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll tell you. It's August. It's right here. Nobody knows, but she's muted. August. August 13th. I'm not August muted. 13th. August 13th. I'm not muted, Emma. No, Jody was muted and she was going like this. And I, I was trying saying. to say August 13th. And I can't. August 13th. I know. So it's August 13th here in Pearland, oh, not far mm -hmm. from my house. 
So um, absolutely, I, I well, you, I wish there, it, you will have air mattresses, Elizabeth, I am going to say. Um, Autumn, Melissa, and the baby are in the guest room. I've got Jamie Pilcher staying here. Mama Bev is already staying here. Um, I think Carol Bishop is coming in town as well. Um, I know Jessica Thompson is flying in from Florida. We are going to have air mattresses all over my house. It's fine. We're going to make it work. <laughs> so sad. I know. Yeah, it will be a slumber party. But maybe we'll periscope it while we're there. I don't know. Maybe we could do some fun something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I have any more questions. Yeah, anybody else? Questions or comments? Maybe we left something off. I didn't mention anything uh, charitable or baseball, nothing. Well, but, I mean, it's okay if, yeah. Like, you didn't necessarily do the catalog walk, but they've got the materials in their hand. Yeah, I never do a catalog walk. They'll cover it, and they want to know about it. They have the option to ask you because they have the materials in their hand. But I think that's so, a good point, Jamie. It's for somebody that's new, that's uncomfortable doing a home party, a catalog walk is the best option. Will you explain to them what that is? Because I think that's a great... Well, she's well I mean, I will, but I mean, I mean, I will, but I think it's, you just kind of... <laughs> For me, like, did you see well, her face when I asked her to tell y'all? She made it literally. I said, Will you please jump off this bridge? Because I need you to save everyone on the Zoom screen. I have trouble with the catalog walk because, well, like I said before, like, I have trouble, like, with getting people to even pay attention to me. And then. I mean, I do it online, and it works awesome online. Like, I just ask them questions, like, how much has Sensi donated to autism, like, he speaks? How, you know, what, like, I just ask them random questions. But when they're there, it's, my problem with, the, I've done a bunch of home parties, but it's the, that it's a bunch of friends who haven't seen each other in a long time. And getting their attention like that's and i i love everything that you've said like in the meeting i'm totally gonna i have one on may 14th so i'm gonna you know i don't know if i'm as assertive so i don't know if i'm gonna try everything that you did but well, no you and that's, that's what's good to make it yours. Just pick and choose what fits you think of a code word and have them listen. So how many of you guys watch Bravo channel where Andy Cohen has the magic word, you have to take a drink every time he says the magic word. So maybe your word is Scentsy Bar and you tell these girls, say, ladies, I'm so excited about this Scentsy party. Every time you catch me saying the word Scentsy or the word bar, let me know because I'm gonna give you a ticket. So now they have to pay attention to every word you're saying because you're trying to give them and let them earn free stuff. It's that I had tried that um, at one of my parties, and it, it did work good it, for, the, for the phone thing. I had them at the beginning save my number in their phone, and every time I said, um, said bar, they had to text me. The first person that texted me, like I gave like a scent circle or something. But okay, like, so then you say, I want you to be like Cinderella. Put yourself in my shoes for a minute. Girl, you are doing so good. Get up here. We're going to take turns on you being the Scentsy Consultant. Our next product we're demonstrating is our Scentsy Bar. Karen, tell me everything you know and sell me the Scentsy Bar. Good. So then now they're all listening to Karen. They want to listen to each other anyway. So that put them in your position and say, see, girl, all you need to do is $99. You just did my job for me. See how easy it was? And I've done that, and that works really well. Awesome. Well, we everything you know about the counter clean. Well, we always have that person that comes into it comes to the party or in a in an event or whatever, and they'll have a friend and they're telling them all about it. I always yeah. am always like, girl, you know more about this than I do. You should be sell why aren't you selling this? Yeah. You know, so you always have that chatty Kathy that wants to prove that they know more about everything. Mm -hmm. Even though you've been selling since 10 years, Jamie, they want to tell you sometimes. sometimes. But so I can smell it. But but yeah. do take advantage of those opportunities when they're chatty, Kathy, and talking. Say, oh, girl, open, yeah, open, yeah. Open the open the class. That's kind of genius what she said. So yeah, because like then they're wanting to talk anyway. Then they're engaging. Yeah. Now. yeah. As you're supposed to be in bed. 
Do we have any other questions or we, should I stop the recording? <laughs> Does that help you, Lauren? Yes, very much. Thank you. Yeah, there's always a way around it. I'm going never through. Be prepared enough. Like you will never be prepared for everything. Never. I mean, like she just said, I've been selling this almost ten years, and I think about the first catalog I sold out of, and, and this one, and I how I could just used to pop off cents and prices and combine and saves like it was nobody's business, and now I can't retain it for the life of me. I don't know if that's the catalog or my age. We're going to say it's the catalog, not my age, but like, so I'll just play it off and be like, oh my goodness, they have just made such another wonderful catalog. Let me double check my prices. That way I don't look at it and go, I have no idea what these prices are. I play it off, you know, so you have to like. Yeah, that, well, that's right. So when they ask me about I'm not comfortable with that. I can't. Well, yeah, don't put yourself on the, like, if you don't know it, then you don't know it. Like, just fake it. But well, and make I always it tell it people it. higher higher prices on purpose. Usually it's not on purpose, but it usually comes out that way. So when they ask me, Michelle, like, oh, how much is that girl? Girl, I don't know. I think 25. Uh, the three car, well, it's three car bar slits or whatever it is. So I think $21. I don't even know. I'll tell them 25. I'm like, girl, I may be lying. I said, let me check prices. I sometimes make up numbers. And then when it's 21, but they already saved you money, girl. It's already $4 cheaper. Yeah. They're laughing. They think it's hilarious, and you're just giving them the real price. Yes. Yes. Because I cannot retain the information anymore like I used to. And there's no need to. The only I thing like I'm trying to do is some gone and saved. Let me have a catalog. Let me look at this with y'all because I've already forgotten it. We've changed, and I've yeah. added stuff. Just like she said, just, you know. It's true. It's and so if they true. ask me about a product or a scent, I'll be like, I'll be honest. I don't like that scent. I don't warm it, but it's a great seller, you know, or whatever. Yeah, I don't lie about what. So don't what feel like you have to know it. every little thing about every little product. I think that's true authenticity. Yes, wing it. Wing it, girl. All right, guys. Anything else? Thank you, Heather, for presenting. Yeah, you're welcome. Y'all, what are we doing the next call on next week? Yeah, y'all. Type your questions. What do y'all want to do next week? You want to do events? Events. Absolutely. What do they want? Events. events. Okay. What about events? Do you, like, you want a setup or do you want like, like how you work your event? Like what exactly are you want to know about events? Um, Set up and like I have, I'm trying to do them with my team, and so I need to help, like you know, how you do the money part and stuff. Yeah, and and oh, split am. And I, uh, yeah, everything about events would be awesome. Okay, we can do that. So from setting up, organizing it, to sharing it, to tear down everything. Okay, we can now do that. keep in mind, like we can each give our our different perspective on events and we we all do them different so i think that's kind of a good thing the three of us can share how we do our events how we split them if we do them with somebody else to the inventory we bring to the type of events that we do yes absolutely so, which, which is good because then you know they'll get plenty of different ideas and you know nothing is the same so where are you guys um all from just i know that jamie's in texas and um Jody's New York. Jody's New York. Oh, okay. That's like closer to me, and it's because I events are tough around here. So I'd absolutely love to have a East Coast opinion. Jody's close. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Representing. You're <laughs> just tough. Everyone comes up to me. What's sensei? I'm like, oh, it's awesome. And then I explain. It, but then, Lauren, where are you again? Rhode Island. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a totally different market, baby. Yeah, Rhode Island. Well, Rhode Island slash Massachusetts. I do, I mean, you know, can't stay in Rhode Island. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You're welcome, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. <laughs>